It's a terrible day today. It's all misty and wet. Even the sheep are trying to find somewhere to hide. Except yours truly isn't a t-shirt. Um, because I'm warm. Alright. <laughs> uh, just set away some encoding um, for some tutorials. It's a couple of shorts I did last night. Um, one, I want to test out my microphone, see if, need, if it's sort of the quality still holding. If it's not, I'll have to pick a new one up. Basically what they are is, um, it's two, what, 20 minutes on doing sort of really uber fine skin, skin details and the an easy way to do them and stuff like that and get them to look good. Uh, we put it on Zebra Center. Originally it was supposed to go up on YouTube. It might still, but the quality is going to be pretty bad if I put it up there and you're not going to see a whole lot, you know what I mean? Um, so I might re encode it, you know, a, a better res. Um, they'll be encoded as Windows Media File. Um, so if you've got a Mac, you're pretty screwed. But yet again, the nose Zebra is 3.1 for the Mac anyway, so it's all academic really, isn't it? Uh, I'm sure it could be re-encoded at a later date if it was needed to be, you know, but uh, right now it's just for those people that want it. I'm going to try and get it up later today. It's actually part of the skin detail I was doing for the um, the sort of head that I've been messing around with lately. It's like only a few, a few about like three hours working it now. Um, it's sort of a cross between a sheep and a goat with a bit of bull in it. We've got to look very carefully with the bull and a bit of sort of like monsterization. So it's probably one of these lads here, one of them sheep, right? That's one of them. <laughs> They'll look at when I come from a walk. So when I'm talking these things, and I sort of look up at this, and I'm looking past, I'm actually looking at the sheep, right? I'm looking at things I can sort of take and put into models. Um, starting to get everything um, underway for the house move. Uh, now this means that I'm going to be uh, offline for a little while without connection. Um, and when I do have a connection, I won't be doing as much work because I've got, you know, I really want to sort this house out and the workroom as well. Um, that's, you know, my office has got to be sorted right, and I'm making a good job of it this time. Uh, I know there's at least one client's going to have a major hissy fit, but if he hadn't been messing around like a bleeding idiot for the past uh, two months on a five day job, what was originally a five day job, um, then he wouldn't have a problem, would he? But at the moment, it's going to, uh, you know, everything will be done. Simple as that. Uh, no more messing around. Um, also found something really interesting out uh, the last few days. It looks like I've developed a caffeine allergy and an onion allergy. <laughs> Which is quite ironic about coffee, I drink. Um, basically, if I have coffee, right, my stomach sort of swells up, looks like I'm nine months pregnant, and I get a shitload of pain. Uh, it's nearly into sort of um, bloody stomach ulcer territory. Um, so, I'm going to have to cut down the caffeine, which is why I'm drinking a Sprite instead of Coca-Cola. Um, of course, you can't just cut the caffeine dead, not when you're drinking 30 odd cups of very strong coffee a day, because otherwise you're going to go into a caffeine withdrawal, and I don't really want that. I've tried that once before, it wasn't fun. Uh, also, onions, that seems to be more severe because I am crippled dull in pain for having it with onions, and even a small amount of onions. Now, I've always been fine with onions. I love onions, right? Which is going to make things a bit more complex because I've not a pizza for me tea tonight, um, which I was going to pick up at the shop on the way around. But uh, if it's got onions in, I'm screwed. Uh, my dad got the uh, 3D print for his birthday. Uh, he was over the moon with that. It was actually, it was, it made it worth it. It was worth a million dollars to see that on his face. You know, to be able to hold something in his hand as a real item. Um, he actually asked for his birthday. Surprisingly, well, I'm saying surprisingly, it's not surprising for him, but it would have been if it would have been me. Uh, if he could take Kane out for the day. Now you see me, when it's my birthday, I'd rather they take him out for the day and leave me a bit of peace and quiet because I have him every bloody day. Love him the bits, but you know, you need a bit of, bit of downtime eventually. Um, I actually spent my birthday on the night time doing a model. That's how sad it got. Um, the Scotland wax that I ordered a while back has arrived, along with all the rest of the, um, the Scotland supplies. Uh, so I'm going to give that a bit of a go. I'm using Fuse Wax from uh, WillowProducts.com, American company, uh, and it is the bee's knees. Uh, I'll just shut that here for some, in case you get any uh, wind. Well, not <laughs> wind, you know, just it's on the wind off the microphone. Um, it's strong as blazers. Um, now, you see, my heat gun's buggered, right? <laughs> I had a little mini oven that I managed to chuck out two weeks ago, not thinking I'd need it because it stood there for two years unused. Uh, so I tried using a hairdryer. Now, an hour later, I've maybe got 10% of, of, like, you know, 
half a kilo in weight of this wax done. Right, so I've got to try later on and put it in the microwave. Now there is a chance, because this is flammable, that the whole bloody house will go up in a big fireball. But the sea will suffer for your art, so I'm definitely going to be doing that. Uh, <laughs> cat's not too happy. Uh, we're going to have sort of fire extinguishers on standby. Not that I don't think I don't think it'll do a lot of good because this stuff is flammable. Um, I'm just hoping it's not highly flammable, otherwise it's going to be like a bomb going off um, and stuff. So I'm just going to work out what the hell I'm going to do. I'll probably just do a couple of busts or something like that, first of all. Um, I've had a couple of people inquire about um, private tuition. I do do private tuition. Uh, I keep it on a small scale, mainly because I've got Keen, you know, and he's still young. Uh, and I don't want to be working all the time, you know, because then it will be day and night, you know, and I wouldn't get seen very much. So I do take, you know, I don't take on uh, tuition jobs like that. Um, very few and far between. I might have a couple of those coming off, but I don't really want to be doing a whole lot at the moment um, outside of the work I've already got lined up due to this move. Let's see how much time I've got. I've got loads of time. So I'm going to try and balance you on here. Alright, we can look at my nose and hopefully not fall down off the gate. We'll have a drink of this. This gate has fast become the place for me to do these. Um, because over there I've got some horses. You know, it looks lovely. I'm sure you don't do the same. Don't you show you again? But um, it's not a very nice day. Now, rather ironically, I was up the last couple of days for these walks, and it's been windy as hell, right? In 30, 40, 50 mile an hour winds, right? And the bloody wind turbines up on yon hill, but just right behind where this is, weren't spinning. So there you go. Proved it again. The things don't, don't bloody work. They only work at 15 mile an hour. We don't get 15 mile an hour winds around here. We get strong winds or no wind. Simple as that. You can tell it gets on my nerves, can't you? Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm basically what I'm, what I'm starting to do is to wind down, change all the tutorials, the short video freebies on dash dot slash, because the trouble is that just about everything that's out there at the moment is not indicative of the way I work now or the quality that I'm working. And that at first that didn't didn't really bother me because I was only trying to help people. But as you get more well known, uh, people think that's as good as it gets, which um, can affect the paid work. So I'm basically going to get rid of all that. Uh, sorry if you wanted them. You know, so if I'm sure somebody will have them somewhere, but I don't support those anymore because um, it's not just not the way I work. Um, so as I say, I've got one skin detail. So I'm not going to go too far at the newbie side because I've done it, right? <laughs> I've got a Zebra's book due out apparently about the 30th of June, the penciling it in. Um, there's a video tutorial, like a DVD on that with tutorials, a lot of tutorial stuff. I'm creating the full character. Uh, I did the whole lot actually, the whole, everything that's in the book, but. We can't fit it all in the DVD, um, and there's enough stuff, you know, that had to be, you know, have voices put on without me having to narrate six hours of stuff. How much time we got? We got bags of time yet. So I'm gonna have to have a little bit of a think about um, what else I'm gonna do tutorials on. Uh, anybody's got any sort of requests or anything? I'll, I'll bear them in mind. Can't promise I'll do them. Uh, depends what mood I'm in, um, and I'll see what I can get done. Uh, I think you like these skin detailing ones. Uh, the short, but they tell you everything you need to know. Uh, and the more advanced you are, the more you'll get out of it. Right? If you're not advanced, you'll still get something out of it. Right? Um, all default alphas. Right? Default alphas and using your own fair hands. No special tricks or out like that. Uh, just common sense approach. A lot of this is like the old clear techniques um, that you know I'm transferring over. They're not unique. Uh, I didn't invent them. I don't claim to. Uh, they just interesting and really nice to do skin details. Uh, hopefully it'll help somebody. I'll have a quick look at what the time is. God almighty, I see. I must be rattling on at a hell of a rate. It's like just nine minutes now, so I better wind this up and I'll go into part two. Um, and we'll have a talk about other stuff. I'm not quite sure what that other stuff will be just yet, but we'll have a talk about other stuff. Alright, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs>